New on Sunrise Now, it's a disturbing crime that often goes unreported. Millions of senior citizens are abused every year. NBC 10's Tamara Sakarzik is delving into the number of cases here in southern New England. She joins us live from outside the State House in Providence with what she found out. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Mario, good morning. We dug into state records and found dozens of cases of elder abuse right here in Rhode Island in recent years. If you have a loved one who's getting older, this is really one of those stories that you need to hear. One in 10 older adults are the victim of some form of elder abuse. It's a shocking statistic on an unsettling, underreported crime. Elder abuse is one of the most underreported crimes that there are. Elder abuse is happening at an alarming rate. I pulled records from the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services and was stunned by what I found. The nursing home comparison tool has ranked 23 of Rhode Island's 79 nursing homes as below average or much below average for quality of care. In one case, a staff member threatened to hit a resident. Federal records say a nurse directed other staff members not to help a resident who was locked in her room calling out for help. And those just scratch the surface. We've seen cases where um, folks have been received medications for upwards of a year. Attorney Anthony Leone has prosecuted dozens of legal cases against local nursing homes ranging from neglect to abuse. He told me many of these cases are the result of low staffing levels. NBC 10 found several cases where residents fell because no one was around to help them get up or suffered skin wounds after they were left lying in one position for too long. There are a whole variety of types of injuries we see. Uh, some of the most common include uh, pressure injuries, uh, falls that result in uh, fractures, particularly hip fractures, medication errors, uh, infections. Abuse and neglect complaints are reported to the Department of Health, which will then investigate. Depending on the case, the Attorney General's office may also get involved. NBC 10 found that over the past two years, the AG's Medicaid Fraud Unit has investigated 20 accusations of patient abuse in state health care facilities like nursing homes. Their Elder Abuse Unit investigated 73 abuse incidents in that same time period. The number of cases that haven't been reported or investigated is likely much higher. It's under reported for a variety of pretty serious and sad reasons. Special Assistant Attorney General Molly Capstein Cody told me elder abuse isn't just happening in nursing homes. Oftentimes, it happens under the victim's own roof. Oftentimes, victims rely on their caretaker, who may be their perpetrator. And so they're terrified that if they turn that person in, they'll have no other person to take care of them. That's why she wants to remind the public that Rhode Island is a mandatory reporting state. That means if you suspect abuse is happening, you're legally obligated to report it. It's happening much more than we realize it is, and we need to encourage um, older adults to not be embarrassed, not be, in, not be scared, realize that we want them to come forward. We're here. To find out where you can report elder abuse, you can head to our website, turn to 10.com. We're live in Providence this morning. Tamara Sakarzik, NBC 10 News.